Summer sun, allergies, and insect bites can all have a damaging effect on our skin. But think about what it can do to the young skin of children. Here now is Dr. Janine Downey, a pediatric dermatology expert and mom with how to be good skin care role models to our kids. Good morning, Janine. Thank you. Nice to be with you. What are some of the warm weather skin problems we need to watch out for with our kids? Well, there's a lot of them. Sunburns, insect bites, poisonous plants, heat rash, little patches of eczema, all of that. So what kind of products should we use with kids with sensitive skin? And do those products change by age? They do. And actually, I've teamed up with Dial Kids. They have a brand new body and hair wash that's terrific. That's a two-in-one product that's developed with pediatric dermatologists. And it's for special needs of kids' skin, ages 2 plus and 6 plus. It's tear-free, hypoallergenic. It's got no artificial dyes, no parabens, and it's even pH balanced. So it's quite gentle and non-irritating for child-sensitive skin. How do we protect our kid from things like sun damage, poisonous plants, and insect bites? Absolutely. In terms of sun damage, that would be a sunblock with an SPF 30 at least every single day, rain or shine, and that is January through December, regardless of the child's ethnicity. And then we want to model good behavior. So we want your child to see you putting the sunblock on, then put it on them, then you're reapplying it, then they're reapplying it. That way, when they go kicking and screaming about the sunblock, at least you're modeling the good behavior that you want them to follow. And then in terms of the poisonous plants, that gets a bit more tricky. If you have poisonous plants on your yard and you're not too sensitive to them, put on a long pair of gardening gloves and go pull them out yourself. If you are sensitive to them, time to hire gardeners and get them to rip them out before your children or your pets get into them. And then in terms of insect bites, that's more difficult. Some of the bug sprays, the citronella sprays are great if you're above the age of 10. Some of the sprays with DEET are good as well. And then for tick bites, I really, it's very important to check your children for ticks every day when they're coming in because ticks can attach and they can spread Lyme disease. So those are all significant concerns during the summer months. So do you recommend any products for all year round protection? Well, there's a couple of things. I like kids' skin to be hydrated, so I say anything that's in a jar in terms of creams and moisturization is really important. Children in general do not drink enough water, so drinking eight glasses of water a day or above, depending on how much you weigh, is very, very important. And then just in terms of kids' overall health, I tell my child and I encourage my patients to eat the rainbow, that is a lot of brightly colored fruits and vegetables, because that works better for our body and that's actually better for you. So there's a bunch of different things. And then transitioning back to skin, with insect bites, children will dig and scratch at their mosquito bites and they can get superficial infections. So you want to put ice on that bite when they get it and you want to cover it with an antibiotic ointment and a band-aid so that it heals faster if they do have something because you don't want them to get an infection. Jeannie, where do our viewers go for more information? For more information, go to dialsoap.com and thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much, Dr. Downey. Have a great day.